Hello and welcome guys to your own channel Abhyas Bhumi. Guys, today we are going to do some important questions of biology. Before we start the class, please subscribe the channel if you not subscribed yet and also press the bell icon for the further upcoming videos. Okay, and now let's start the class guys. The first question on your screen guys. The calc is option A, sulfide mineral of iron. Option B, partially decomposed vegetation. Option C, she weight rich in iodine content. Option D, an aluminium silicate mineral. According to you, which one option is right guys? Yes, tell me the answer. If you are going with option C, means C weight rich in iodine content. You are absolutely right guys okay the turn for the next question next question on your screen guys which of the following is an example of parasitic algae okay options are given here option a eulotrix option b cephalurus option c udogonium option d saragasum according to you which one option is right guys yes tell me the answer if you know okay tell me Yes, guys, the right answer is, is, yes, option B is the right answer, means cephalurus, okay? Turn for the next question, next question on your screen, guys. Which one of the following is commonly known as pond silk? Yes, guys, tell me the right answer. Oh, sorry, I have to give you option. Option A, spirogyra. Option B, rhizopus. Option C, yes. Option D, lothrix. Okay, tell me the right answer, guys, if you know. Yes, guys, if you're running with option A, means spirogyra, you are absolutely correct, guys. Okay, turn for the next question. Next question on your screen. How many neck canal cells are found in the archegonium of a fern? Option A, 1. Option B, 2. Option C, 3. Option D, 4. According to you, which one option is right, guys? Please, if you know the answer, tell me. Yes, guys, option A is the right answer, means 1. Turn for the next question. Which of the following does not possess a specialized conducting tissue for transportation of water and other substances in plant? Yes, guys, option A is Marchensia, option B, Marchelia, option C, Psychus, option D, Burn. According to you, which one option is right, guys? Yes, if you are going with option A, Marchensia, you are absolutely right, guys. Okay, turn for the next question. Next question on your screen, guys. Which one of the following organisms have vascular tissues? Option A, Cladophora. Option B, Penicillium. Option C, Marsilia. Option D, Anabina. Yes, guys, tell me the answer if you know. Yes, right answer is yes. Option C, Marsilia. Okay. Next question on your screen, guys. The gametophyte is called Prothallus in. Option A, Pteridophyta. Option B, Bryophyta. Option C, Spermatophyta, option D, Thalophyta. Yes, guys, tell me the right answer. Which one option is right, guys? Yes, option A is the right answer, means Steridophyta. Okay. Next question on your screen, guys. Marsilia, fern, and horsetail are example of which one of the following plant groups? Okay. Option A, Pteridophyta. Option B. Bryophyta, option C, Zemnosperms, option D, Angiosperms. Please tell me the right answer, guys, if you know this. Yes, if you are running with option A, means Stratodophyta, you are absolutely right, guys. Okay, turn for the next question. Next question on your screen. A sporangia bearing leaf in a fern is called option A, Ramentum, option B, Inducium, option C, Saurus, option D, Sporophyte. Yes, guys, tell me the right answer if you know. Yes, guys, option right is which one? Yes, guys, option D, Sporophyll. Sporophyll is the right answer. Okay, turn for the next question. Next question on your screen. 
Coralloid root of cycas helps in option A absorption of water option B absorption of water and fixation of nitrogen option C anchorage option D transport of food yes guys tell me the right answer if you know yes right answer is 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 yes option B is the right answer absorption of water and fixation of nitrogen okay the turn for the next question companion cells of phloem are found in option A gymnosperms option B bryophyta option C tetrapoda option D angiosperms yes guys tell me the right answer if you know it yes right answer is 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 yes option d is the right answer and your sperms okay turn for the next question the smallest flowering plant is option a volvia option b limba option c azolla option d ficus yes guys tell me the right answer if you know right answer is 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 yes guys option a volvia okay Turn for the next question. Next question on your screen. The tallest and thickest type of grass is. I know, guys, you must be know the answer, but let me do my job. I am giving you options. Option A, alfalfa. Option B, pudder. Option C, bamboo. Option D, lichen. Yes, guys, know the answer. Yes, right answer is is is. Yes, option C is the right answer. Bamboo. Okay. Next question on your screen, guys. Delonyx rhesia raffin is the scientific name of option A. Banyan. Option B. Gilmohar. Option C. Tamarind. Option D. Chiku. Which one is the right answer, guys? If you know the right answer, please tell me. The right answer is 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 yes guys option b is the right answer galmohar okay turn for the next question next question on your screen guys solenum tuberosum is the scientific name of i think guys you maybe know the answer but let me give you options option a potato option b tomato option c pumpkin option d onion yes guys if you are going with option a means means potato you are absolutely right guy it was the easy question i think turn for the next question living things are grouped into subgroups like plant kingdom or any animal kingdom okay which one of the following is not correct for animal kingdom option a cannot make their own food option b body contains cellulose option c do not have chlorophyll Option D, migrate from one place to another. Which one option is right, guys, according to you? Yes, guys, tell me the right answer. The right answer is yes. Option, option. Yes, guys, option B is the absolute right answer. Body contains cellulose. Next question on your screen, guys. Which one of the following multiplies very slowly in comparison to others? Option A, bacteria. Option B, virus option c fungi option d worms yes guys tell me the right answer if you know yes guys tell yes option which one is right if you are going with option 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 d is the right answer means worms okay next question on your screen guys which of the following is not unicellular option a jugulina option b amoeba option c paramecium option d hydra Okay, tell me the right answer if you know. Yes, guys, tell me if you are going with option. Yes, guys, option D. Hydra is not unicellular. Okay, option D is the right answer. Next question on your screen, guys. Normally, animals can change the place, but which one of the following animals cannot change the place? Option A, starfish. Option B, sponge. Option C, hydra. Option D, leech. According to you, which one option is right, guys? Yes, if you are going with option B, means a sponge, you are absolutely right, guys. Okay, turn for the next question. Next question on your screen. 
which among the following does not have segmented body option a phylum mollusca option b phylum arthropoda option c annelida or option d phylum cylindrata yes guys tell me the right answer if you know this yes right answer is Yes, guys, absolutely. Option D is the right answer. Okay, cylindrata do not have segmented body. Okay, next turn. Okay, next question on your screen, guys. Admetia means sea animal. Spinatula options means sea pan are example of which phylum? Let me see the option, guys. Option A, cylindrata. Option B, ascal. Ascalmentes. Option C, Annelida. Option D, Arthropoda. Yes, guys, tell me the right answer if you know. Yes, option. Which one is right, guys? Yes, guys, option A is absolutely correct answer for this. Okay, turn for the next question. Next question on your screen. Which one of the following statements with regard to growth of coral reefs is not correct? Okay, option A. Coral can grow abundantly in fresh water. Option B. It requires warm water between 23 to 25 degrees Celsius. Option C. It requires shallow salt water not deeper than meters. Option D. It requires plenty of sunlight to add photosynthesis. Which one option is right guys? Tell me the right answer if you know. If you are going with option A, you are absolutely Correct guys, because coral can grow abundantly in fresh water. Okay, turn for the next question. Next question on your screen. Which one of the following has a bilateral symmetry in its body organization? Okay, option A, Asterias. Option B, Sea Animal. Option C, Nereus. Option D, Echinus. Which one option is right guys? If you know the right answer, please tell me. Yes, guys, tell me the right answer. Yes, option, 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 option C means Nereus is the right answer. Okay, turn for the next question. Next question on your screen, guys. Which one of the following pairs about organ a part that helps in locomotion is not correctly matched? Okay, Option A, Euglena with flagellum. Option B, Paramecium with cilia. Option C, Nereus means pseudopodia. Option D, Starfish with tubid. I think option A, B and D are correct. But option C, I have to tell. Yes guys, tell me according to you which one is right. If you are going with the same route means option C, you are absolutely correct. As Nereus not going with Pseudopodia, okay, this is the mismatch. Okay, turn for the next question. Crabs belong to the phylum. Option A, Mollusca. Option B, Nidaria. Option C, Arthropoda. Option D, Platyhelminthes. Which one option is right, guys? Tell me the right answer. Yes, guys, if you are going with option, yes, guys, C. If you are going with arthropoda, you are absolutely right. Crabs belongs to the arthropoda. Okay. Next question on your screen. Animals with cartilaginous exoskeleton are option A. Insects. Option B. Sponges. Option C. Sea urchin. Option D. Snails. Which one option is right, guys? Tell me the answer. Yes, guys. If you are going with 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 option A, you are absolutely correct. Okay, insects is the right answer. Next question on your screen, guys. Entomology is the study of option A, birds, option B, insects, option C, fossils, option D, fungi. Which one option you are going with? Which one option you are selecting, guys? Yes, if you are selecting option B, means insects, you are absolutely, absolutely right, guys. Okay. It is the right answer. Next question on your screen. Prawn heart queries. Option A. Not blood. Option B. Deoxygenated blood. Option C. Oxygenated blood. Or option D. Mixed blood. According to you, which one option is right, guys? Yes, tell me the right answer. 
yes if you are selecting the option c you are absolutely correct guys okay oxygenated blood cool the right answer that was okay next question on your screen among the following animals choose the one having three pairs of legs option a spider option b scorpion option c bug option d mite okay tell me the right answer if you know yes guys if you are going with option a you are absolutely wrong guys because c is the right answer option c is the right answer is b u g bug okay among the following organisms which one does not belongs to the class of other tree this is the is 2014 question guys please correct the question option a crab option b mite option c scorpion option d spider tell me the right answer guys if you know the answer please tell me yes guys if you are going with option 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 yes option a you are absolutely right guys option a crab is the right answer okay this was the last question for this lecture thank you for like share and subscribe your own channel jay mahadev